Hey everyone, welcome back to Creature Corner. My name is Jared Krzyzewski. I'm a creature and character concept artist, 3D modeler, and instructor at Noman School of Visual Effects. Creature Corner is brought to you by Dell. Matt Miller cannot be here tonight. No, Matt, I'm afraid. His computer is uh, doing this uh, uh, popping thing. I don't know, he's doing this, this popping thing, is not working. Uh, he's very pissed off about it, so uh, he's he's angry. We're gonna miss him, but uh, you're with me tonight, and uh, together we will sail these choppy waters together. Hey, hello, Cerulean Robin. Hey, thanks for uh, hanging out. So uh, today we're going back to uh, Mythic Part three and uh this is a little demo i've been working on with the students and then uh we're gonna uh keep keep going on this uh did a little bit of work on it um in class for demo but today we're um, you know i'm planning on addressing you know the the face uh the fingers get those uh, blocked out and then uh, again splitting up like half crocodile, half kind of uh, bull moose deformed uh, person. And uh, we're going to refine all that anatomy and uh, add some grotesquery. So that's it for tonight. So let me know how you guys are doing. All right. So uh, let's see. I was working on angry bull face. And it's kind of funny is, uh, you know, you sculpt it too far back and then suddenly it's hippo. I just, I just found that was kind of uh, amusing there for a second. Currently listening to this while doing my studio work. Nice. Just keep, uh, keep it inspired. Keep it going. Gotta make some monsters. Put all that away. And it is kind of funny just like how close it could go hippo. I think the minute you add the, the ears, that'll change it. I feel like I need more like length in the snout. Hidden within each of us is not only the capacity to love and hate, but to take that final step to be not only a creator, but a destroyer. A destroyer. more reference. Let's sculpt with the mouth closed and then we'll open that later. You guys watching anything? You watching anything at all? I wish I could say I'm like steeped in a lot of new stuff and content, but other than uh, True Detective, I'm not, there's not much going on. What's up, Tommy? Tommy Brophy. It's all just vibe. It's just all vibe and 
forget about the world for a minute. Just make some monsters. Move some clay around. Watching not, not watching anything new, unfortunately. I'm usually keeping an eye close on games more. What's uh, what's out game wise? Oh, hello, fingernail. Nice to see you. What are you working? For? balance here. Minotaur. Okay, it is too big. Let's hide the uh, let's hide the faces for a second. Sometimes before you go crazy, you gotta just sculpt like the bull. So as a blocking, it's, it's fine. Then we gotta start. I want to kind of ground it a little bit first, and then we'll do. Uh, then we'll split it off into something wild. Subnautica zero, below zero. Related to your creature to your creature design mentorship homework. Trying to get that inspired feeling going. Yeah, Subnautica is great. Never played it, but I like all the art. Yes, thank you. We need we need creepy minotaurs. More creepy minotaurs. See, the minute you put his head kind of back on, it starts to make a little bit more sense. It's hard to sculpt a head without like the body in context as well. We'll, we'll take it there and then we'll take it a little further. Deltoids. Okay. 
Take the arms, straighten them out. Should make Greek mythology horror movies. Hell yeah, they should. That'd be great. They're kind of horror movies in and of themselves, but giving them a uh, cinematic kind of flair would be cool. Let's check this guy off. Pull it from the sphere. Sculpt it all by hand. Go back to the basics. Yes, Mr. Wubble Numpkins is back. Louder than ever. Uh, in case you don't know, Mr. Bubble Numpkins is the cricket that lives in my garage. And he just likes to dominate the conversation. And here's the latest weather report. Oh, she gave me the weather report. Hello, Clay. Hello, Clay Chibi. Yes, Mr. Wubble Numpkins is here. He is very talkative. He's a happy. He's a happy cricket. He's doing okay. Lots of crickets. We have dubbed him Mr. Wubble Numpkins. He is Mr. Wubble Numpkins. And he likes to talk. And I think we we need to listen. We need to listen to what he has to say. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Arms out a little bit more. What are you calling the cow man? I don't know. We need a we we need a good name. Mr. I mean it could be like a Mr. Manny Kowchenkowitz. I don't know. Oops. 
This is the time to make those adjustments. Mr. Sir Duggery, Sir Duggery. <laughs> and new is just without the, is just a moo without the m mm, moo oh my moo my that's my moo Let unmasked points. There we go. And I'm going to use the anchors for this. Moo! He hates the transpose brush, but it works. It's a trap. It's not a trap. It's a trap. It was a trap. Ooh. Most impressive. Most impressive. It's all about shapes. You have to live the shape. You have to love the shape. Groovy. Groovy, baby. This is just our regular bull head, and then we will mess it up even more. Moo, moo. Did Matt get replaced with sound effects? No, the cricket replaced him. <laughs> the the cricket replaced Matt. Matt uh, transmogrified into a cricket. Has been <laughs> he is now cricket. He is now cricket.
I get the appropriate amount of sag. How much is too much? And I'm just trying to fill out the volumes to make sure that they, it feels right. Just kind of adding clay on just to kind of fill it out. Now it's, it's, it looks more like a bowl. So I got to do like mostly bowl sculpting. And then I'll add like that 10, 15% weird, weirdness. Once I've got the, a good structure in place. Look at those, those ears. Let me grab. This tomb brush is actually pretty good for basic ears. Hmm. Here it is. Giant ear will do. Moo. Must be uncomfortable having large horns. Probably heavy. gonna put a nose ring on him yeah eventually uh my my kind of block out head is that he's gonna be kind of two-faced um i'm gonna make him kind of a two-faced cow and one's gonna be more human one's gonna be more cow so i'm i'm kind of sculpting bull first and then we'll make it weird put a nose ring on him could you give him long, wavy hair, like a beard or something? Yeah, I could do that. It's too soon to do that because I, I like to have um, all the structure in place. And then uh, once that's all in, then, you know, hair, hair is going to be like the last thing that comes out. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like patchy kind of... Uh, nastiness there it's got like this little divot here mr wobble numpkins This way, there, pinch it.
There you go. It's gonna look mean. When it all starts kind of coming together, it'll look cool. Leathery, tough skin. Got my handy flakes brush for this. Oh, what's going on, Sterling? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, you little fuzzy guy. You posted a little fuzzy guy, didn't you? Yeah, a little fuzzy guy. Fuzzy, wuzzy, was a bear. The thingies, cylinders, always cylinders. Right, shrink it down a little bit. If we can use the anchors here to good effect. I wish there was like a well, I wish there was like a hard bend. I don't know if that's it's kind of like a that's kind of pretty close. This would be good for like stylized kind of like finger, but sometimes a good old fashioned move rotate, you know. Nice. Nice. Got get. Got get, bro. Sculpting. needs a lot of mass you know in his arms he's gotta look beefy ha <laughs> beefy there it is there it is <laughs> is that where that comes from beefy my man you look like a cow <laughs> tip your waitress Mutant Mayhem vibes. Interesting. 
Is there a bull mutant in that? I don't think so. He's going to be a uh, mutant. Mutant-esque, I guess. Let's take the body. Scale it up. That's better. So much of it, uh, of good... It's sculpting and modeling is just proportions. Split the difference. Sometimes, let's see if making the hands smaller helps. A little better. A little bit better. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find some reference. Pulling up some of the uh, Olympic athlete reference. This is just good to have up in general. Three hands, three fingers. Yeah, I agree. Um, you wanted to be a cricket for tonight. What am I gonna say, man? Don't don't be a cricket. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know tell him what he can't do. <laughs> and uh, actually, <laughs> actually quieted down. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to like. I didn't mean to like tell you like that, but. Oh. Uh, I'm sure he'll be okay. Great, like overlap. Dude's uh, in weightlifting, you know. Great, great reference right here. mass until it feels right.
premium oil. Premium oil. Yowie. Black gold. Texas tea. Oil. These forms just would kind of simplify. Whose shapes? Whose shapes are interesting? His or mine? My man here has some interesting shapes. But he could also uh, kill me probably very easily. <laughs> I, would, I would be very nice to him in person. So don't kill me. I always imagine us as our own Frankenstein, and one day we'll be, be faced with our creations. We're in trouble. You're not wrong. We've, uh, we just seem bar to be barreling down that, uh, down that path. Took a little nap and he's back. He is a happy little bug, though. Don't give him that much. Thank you. 
Interesting. Unify this form. If you had to face off against one of your own monsters, which would you choose? Uh, I guess Pete's Dragon, if I had a choice. That one would probably be the most uh, likely not to kill me. But uh, I guess the one that I would be very excited to meet would be like Shimo. I'd like to meet you more. Face off against one of my own monsters. to those legs. A lot of time on the crotch right now. Sometimes that's just what you gotta do. Enemy spotted. <laughs> James. You're so good with those. Toasty. Uh, 
cut this off. Save it real quick. Continue down this road here. What about you, Sterling? If you could face off against any of your own monsters, what would you do? What would you pick? I think that's fair for everybody. What's a monster that you would want to face off against? I guess you have to pick a bad one, right? Like if you're going to face any monster, Soft. There's not like a lot of hint of the tricep just there, but it's just covered in skin and fat. There's chickens. I made some gross guys, but I'd say the chicken would be freaky. Crooked Man would probably be my the most freaky. Probably be the most freaky, and then I don't know. Yeah, I'd probably, probably the probably the Crooked Man. I think I would I would stand a chance against the Crooked Man. Be like, ah, you're crooked. Push him over. Just like that. And say, get out of here, you. Stop being so crooked in my house. Hmm. More mass on the arm in general. Oh, yeah. More mass, you know, just so you feel big. Merge this down with fingers. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, ooh. 
Japan. Throw his arms up a little bit, a little up and out. I think it's a reference of like some loggers, you know what I mean? need to be longer like keep messing with it that feels about right a little more and then at some point i should probably look up what hooves look like i look at that You, you could take on a demo dog? Mmm, that's pretty good. I mean, their their mouth kind of face maw is their big kind of thing that they do. So as long as you can like swat it away, I think you'd be okay. I think you need like some Negan kind of bat with like barbed wire around it and just keep it at a distance, you know? Uh, let me look up like or like logging competition competition lumberjacks. Who's getting big? They got strong arms too, you know. Logging competition, Steve. Yeah. Freaking huge, man. They're freaking huge, man. And they're like chopping. It's like good action, you know? Good chop. Chopping. So hard to find a good picture. We're going to keep going and look for like. Olympic weightlifters. Let's see if I can find anything kind of that's from. That's some good arm reference right here, though. There you go. Great arm ref. The muscles are all tensed up right there. It's pretty cool. That looks really good. What would you go up against, Clay? I don't know what that what that logo is. What do you? What does that mean? Oh, 
now. Keep looking for the right thing. Come to Creature Corner and watch Jared Google stuff. So like perfectly defined, so cool. Right. This also tells me I need to lengthen the arm a little bit more. It is. Uh, Googling is essentially to is essential to any process. Like you, now you now you just have to like look at it, look it up. See, it's funny is I'll kind of start down there and then I'll work my way up. Let's see if we can get from the whole arm again. Reptilian demons with a bowl of water on their head. Oh, Kappas. Is that a Kappa? I it looks I don't even uh, it looks like one of the guys from Kids in the Hall. That's an old people reference. Old this type of cinematic art. It's getting there. It's gone through some changes. This is the way. That's just what happens. It starts off one way and you work on it and leave. <laughs> God, I loved Transformers as a kid. There was nothing better. Started in a more gestural kind of sketch pose and then uh, moved on. Oh, the emote is just called Kappa. See, I don't, I don't know these things. I don't, I don't know that. I should, I should, I should learn that, right? Or is it just funny that I don't know things and people have to explain it to me? I would watch that show just explain things to Jared. I was like, oh sh shit. Of you with heart conditions, or who are with young and impressionable children. Young. We and ask that you turn around in your seats or leave this auditorium for the next two minutes. Thank you. I am Monter, master of illusion. Your eyes may see. Your mind 
Little cat nipples. Minutes are nipples. You can't milk those. <laughs> Could you milk me? Could you milk me? All right, let's uh, look up cow hooves, bull hooves, I guess. Bull hoove. It would bull hoove of you. Look at that beauty. Perfect like a hoof. Looking for shape, general kind of similarities between them. You gotta find those uh, back views as well. Anything I can get my hands on. It's pretty good. They got this notch here, right? And this is where the ankle would be. Forward a little bit, maybe. Let's see. Like that. Big kind of curl forward. Pinch. Pinch, 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 pinch. Too wide. Let's 
See, after you've sculpted for a little bit, uh, you have to zoom out and then spin around at 500. It's the only way. Saw Night Swim, knew you were being uh, uh, those rotted friends the moment they showed up. They were visually my favorite part of the film. Happy to see properly credited as well. That's awesome. Yeah, man, it was a it was a fun movie to work on. You know, uh, uh, Bryce had been working on this um, movie for a while, and um, so he had the short. I mean, he he knew what he wanted to do. I was like, man, you're you're that's a lot of underwater shooting. Okay. Yeah, Fractured Effects did all the uh, prosthetic makeup. Looks great. It's uh, Justin Raleigh's studio and uh, my buddy Luca Nemolato just posted a bunch of stuff. Or he's going to be posting a bunch of stuff. Looks great. The man. My man. Whittling these knees, whittling these uh, legs. A peaceful town where nothing ever happens. Now that I realize the truth, it means nothing to me. It's coming together. Together. Superb. Superb. Super. Super burb. Well, this is good. A peaceful town where nothing ever had. It's a good statue. That'll help a lot, actually. That's exactly it. Perfect. Sometimes you just need that one piece of reference. Got to look for it. There's like a significant gap there. Push that down.
pinch that up. Out cow sculptures are or bull sculptures are pretty good. Uh, bull sculpture, I'm the bull god. thing. Get crash. Nope. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Let's save it. Yeah. I get underneath your models, underneath it. Definitely a lot longer. He should be dead, but he's still breathing.
Kind of match the angle here. A bit more out. We all have that feeling. Just after it saves and you're like, oh my God. This is the knuckle of the foot. Well, I don't use, I don't trust hard drives anymore. I've, I've lost too many, I know. I've lost too many uh, pieces from hard drives. So I, I learned that lesson. I've used uh, I used um, I've used Dropbox for years now. Um, after I lost a hard drive with a lot of really cool projects that I loved, uh, I I vowed to get a Dropbox account and I've, I've used that ever since. Um, it's a, it's about right now at max almost max capacity, so I got to go through and. Start deleting some stuff, but yeah, I I, I recommend it. And then uh, part of my trickery is that um, I, I save these shortcuts here that are in the light box, and um, I, I dump all my Z tools into the Dropbox account. And so if, when I save, I just save in these folders, and that way I know everything is uploaded to the cloud and is, um, is stored there. So, so then when I go, you know, I'm opening up projects, you get like a nice visual because then you can really like scrub through it. And so then it's kind of like shopping and I'm like, Oh, look, all my, all my cool stuff. It's fun. Yeah. Ah, that was a Godzilla. Hey, this is great, man. This is great, man. Yeah, it's time to start. I'm going to start working on his legs a little bit more. I mean, I've been working on them. But... Yeah, man, it's, it's super handy. And then um, everything, every brush I create is is all uploaded to the cloud. And then 
you know, if I buy brush packs or if I brought buy other stuff, um, it all goes it all goes in here, and then it's just like it's like shopping. You know, I'm like, oh, I need this, I need this. So, lots of little fun toys to play with. But you don't need, you don't need to buy a bunch of stuff. You could just also make it all. So on a project, I'll, I'll kind of make what's necessary and then store the rest, you know, and then save it, save it for the next one. I need my, speaking of, I need my brushes. So I'm gonna go to brush, I'm gonna go to smooth. Go to smooth, stronger. That's the one. This is great. It's a smooth brush, but it just has a stronger, stronger touch to it. And smooth down your forms real nice. Back to some hooves, hooves. These kind of feel dainty. That feels like a hook, you know? Looks strong. Before you start putting details, get the shapes first. Get the shapes right. Them shapes. Structure. back here. Condition. 
Very slowly, just traveling over everything. It's all part of the plan. Uh, Very difficult to get right. These uh, hind legs. A lot of complex like shapes changing. There's kind of a it's rounding right here. It's really interesting. brush right there. <laughs> it goes around the beach killing some kind of maniac it's looking good it's looking better I think the proportions are now starting to work for me a little bit. It's just getting makes it feel strong, yet nimble. I say it looks pretty good though. Oh thanks. The crocodile tail, yeah, 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 yeah. Still uh <laughs> have not touched that yet. But that's okay, just because I want the anatomy here to get to look really good, and then I'll first first I'm sculpting the Minotaur, and then I'll then I'll take Minotaur into Chimera. But I'm I'm keeping that tail this tail in here to kind of remind me that I will be going more chimeric with it.
He's a big, uh, big hunched over guy. It's a good way to find, like, find the muscle. This is my kind of like general thought on sculpting anatomy: is you over sculpt the anatomy, and then you soften it down. This guy's got really, really big legs. Erode that in underneath there. Over sculpt the anatomy, smooth it down. Over sculpt, smooth it down. It's a hard, it's a hard habit to get into, you know. You just gotta, gotta do it. Just keep breaking the form. Sculpting is re-sculpting. Have a good night, Clay. We'll see you next time. We're moving. We're moving streaming nights to Thursday. Next week we're on Thursdays. Come hang out with. Double buffalo. Yeah, Thursday nights. Thursday nights. We're going to move to Thursday. Mostly because we wanted to. Tuesdays are a lovely night. But Matt and I are thinking uh, Thursdays might be a little bit more uh, helpful for us. You know, it's like first thing in the week. We're like, man. It's already another week.
but we'll be here for you. Yeah. Matt would be upset that he was not here for that for that uh particular sound clip. Very fun. Very fun to do. Still need this shelf right here. Getting that part is challenging for me. Like my brain doesn't quite grasp it yet. I'm gonna do. You can do it. I can do it. Can. You can um, do it. I'm gonna get a really good set of Minotaur legs going anyway. Feel it. Feel it. Better. Not quite ready for showtime yet. Pretty. It's a little ugly. Let's rough it up a little bit.
Give him pretty close. In class next week, we're going to cover hand sculpting. Little things like that. Hand and arm anatomy. Hand sculpting, my enemy. Well, let's practice. Practice some, set aside some time, just sculpt, sculpt a couple hands. It gets easier once once you kind of once you kind of know. Let's get in there. Getting pretty close. I say that like 400 times. Let's right, get in there. That looks really good. Yeah. He <laughs> give him that booty. It's like the head has to be bigger. All right. Let's see, maybe more width in the shoulders. There we go. That's a little better.
a little better. I like the triangle. Bridge of the neck. We're almost there. We're almost there. We made it. out. And I think we'll open it up in Keyshot and do a little clay render. Yay! Yeah, hooray! Sculpting the bowl first, and then I'll make it all messed up. Nice. I'm getting there, but it takes a minute. Personality just come out right there. Nice. So 
Save my reference. Save my model. Double Minotaur. Now this guy eventually I'll work on him, but we're gonna we're gonna like smash his face in there. Outstanding. Yeah, something like that. It'll be fun. It'll be fun when we get in there. Time being, put the arms down. I hope my key shot runs. <laughs> It'll be fun. Nice. All right, let's do the thing where I switch my. Here somewhere. I see. Well, that. this real quick there Scene scale to centimeter. Go. His heart action is unnaturally fast. I call that a stab in the heart. I'm sorry, is there any music? Last little bits, we'll flatten the camera. 90, make them look big and strong. If we can turn it, okay. 
It's blood, there's no doubt about that. It will devour you bit by bit. Say, aren't you a little too early? What do you mean? I mean, it doesn't seem like you're ready to join us just yet. All right. Okay, I think very powerful. That's about it for today. I'm gonna uh yeah, we're gonna smush the face in there. And this is only like part part nasty. It's not gonna we're not even like full nasty yet. We'll get we'll get much nastier. We're gonna you know work on the blend of the face here you know some hair some other stuff uh, you know just to add you know blend blend all this stuff together to make it really cool and then we'll nice well we'll work on the symmetry and kind of break all that up uh, but he's gonna he's gonna have some good attitude in there for sure. So I think that's uh, that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you all for hanging out with me. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for tonight. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. If you would like to message me, contact me. You can find me at MonsterMash042 on Bird App, what was once Bird App, and then uh, at Jared Krzyzewski on, uh, on the Instagram. Uh, anyway, uh, I want to thank uh, Dome School of Visual Effects. I want to thank our sponsor, Dell. I want to thank James. I want to thank Matt, even though he's not here tonight. Send him your crickets. Send him all your crickets. So, good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. We are on Thursday. Thursday. Good night, y'all. Yeah.